if you are a lash artist, if you are looking to be a lash artist, if you are a business owner, this is the channel for you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariel if you didn't know. So today's video is going to be all about volume lashing. It is going to be a method in which I cannot do so I had to find somebody else that can do it. <laughs> okay so it's going to be all about the pinch method so let's just get into it. So I actually got somebody right here in Toronto to help me out with this video. Her name is Lashed by Olina. This is her name right here. Okay, so Lash by Alina, Alina. She's an amazing lash artist. She actually does crazy sets by using her pinch method. I asked her to do this video for me and she did not hesitate. She went ahead and she did it. She did a couple variations or a couple different angles, if you will, of how she actually does the pinch method. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick run through on what the pinch method is and then we will jump into her tutorial. So your pinch method. Pinch method is a method used to create volume fans. So volume fans meaning lashes that are bunched together that have a nice little base that's super super thin and they basically just bloom out. It is what uh, volume sets are made out of. You put fans together to create a full fluffy volume set. There are a couple different methods you can use to do um, volume lashes. I personally use the shimmy method. Um, I'm gonna try in this video too to do a little pinch method for you guys just to see if I can do it but I know I can't but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. But I use the shimmy method so I went ahead and got someone else who I know does an amazing job. Um, like I said, Lash by Alina, she did a great job of doing this pinch me method tutorial for you guys. So what you do is the essential idea of the pinch method is what it sounds like. So you literally take your tweezers, you pick up a bunch of lashes from the strip at the right point. So meaning you want to pick it up somewhere not directly in the middle, but a little bit lower than the middle. So that way the top half of your fan is able to bloom freely and then the bottom half is nice and tight and held together like a little thin needle. So what you do is you pick up your lashes with your tweezers and then you would take your fingers and just like pinch the base of them to make them bloom out while kind of like releasing on your tweezers to um, give it some space to bloom out and then you would dip that uh, base that you just pinched in your glue and then you would have a beautiful fan. Sounds easy, sounds great. Unfortunately, like I said, I just can't get it right. <laughs> so I'm gonna let Alina show you guys how she does it. Okay, so she did such a good job of doing this cute little tutorial tutorial for you guys. As you can see, she did exactly that. That's her pinch method, that's what it is. You literally just take your tweezers, pick up your lashes, pinch the bottom, dip it in the glue. Um, they, I know a lot of uh, lash trainers actually train this way. I don't know why, but I just can't get it. I'm gonna try it out for you guys right now and see if maybe um, reading up on it and kind of immersing myself into this method is going to help me in some way or another or watching Alina's tutorial is gonna help me in some way sometimes if it's if you don't get it it's okay because like I said I still do volume lashes my volume lashes come out great full fluffy all that but uh, just with the shimmy method so it just doesn't have to be that the pinch method is for you but this video is really just to show you exactly what it is and if you were trained in this this is 
how you would do it and what it should look like and um, it's just something to refer to if you're really trying to learn about it or you're trying to practice or you just don't know what it is so don't be sad if you can't do it it doesn't mean you can't lash it doesn't mean you can't do volume lashes it just means that this isn't the method for you <sighs> okay so let me see if I can do this now the best it's gonna get for me okay guys so that is it for this video I hope that you liked it I hope that it was helpful I'm so happy that I was able to bring this video to you with the help of my girl Alina so shout out to lash by Alina go follow her on Instagram she is an amazing lash artist if you are in the Toronto area if you want to get your lashes done she is there hit her up her her info will be in the description below and yeah okay so that is it for this video I hope this helped I hope that this kind of gave you an idea of what the pinch method is. I'm so happy that I was able to do this, even if I myself wasn't able to do it. I'm just glad that I was able to bring this to you guys and you guys can see the difference. If you guys want to check out the shimmy method, I'll link that right here. The shimmy method is the other method, the method that I use personally and the one that I find uh, is easier for me. So if you just can't get the pinch method down, then maybe you need to switch to the shimmy method and vice versa. If you just can't get the shimmy method down, maybe you need to switch to the pinch method. So both videos are up on my channel so you can definitely kind of go back and forth and see what works for you. Okay guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll be back with something new next time. Bye.